When an order loads in ShipRidge, you want your shippers to know exactly how the order should be shipped. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to prepare your products so that the shipping information will load into ShipRidge with the order. This information can be configured using the Seller Cloud interface or through a bulk update. To configure your shipping information with the Seller Cloud interface, open the toolbox on the Product Detail page and scroll down to the Shipping Preferences tab. From here, you can enter the shipping weight and dimensions, as well as select a carrier and shipping method. Be aware that the shipping weight includes the weight of the product together with the weight of the shipping package. Now select a shipping package type. Shipping package types can be set up by navigating to the Settings tab and clicking on Shipping Package Types. For example, you can create a package type based on size or a special packaging type for fragile items. If necessary, you can choose to limit the quantity of this item per package. To do this, you need to enable the client setting, Max Quantity in One Package, per orders. Then go back to the Shipping Preferences page, check this box, and enter a quantity value here. You can require the shipper to acknowledge a warning, like using bubble wrap for a fragile item, before shipping. Check the warning checkbox and enter your warning message. If you want your shipper to input information, like an expiration date, check the information checkbox and enter a note in the text box. The shipper will then enter the expiration date as he fills the order and it will save back to the order. For certain items, you may want to require your shippers to enter the product serial number using the Scan and Ship feature in ShipBridge. The default shipping method is Ship from Site, which means that you, the seller, will ship the order. You can also select to drop ship directly from the vendor. Orders for that product will come in with a pending drop ship status and will be excluded from loading into ShipBridge. Some of these settings can be configured on the product homepage as well. To set the shipping preferences for numerous items, use the bulk update feature and select the following column headers. Weight pounds and weight ounces for product weight and package weight pounds and package weight ounces for shipping weight. Use the column header shipping package type ID and enter the shipping package type name. Shipping weights and dimensions can also be entered in ShipRidge on the order grid and saved back to the products. This way the shipping values will be collected gradually as the products ship. After entering or changing the shipping values, open the menu and click Save Weights Back to Products. For more information on how to prepare your products for shipping, please visit wiki.sellercloud.com.